What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. This is uh I don't know what part it is. I forgot. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's part 16. Yeah. We're already on part 16 of this series. I hope you guys are still watching and enjoying this um, gameplay and gameplay walkthrough of Looking my to buy, hope. Having a look, is that okay? My version and uh, yeah, so uh, today's um, mission would be um, probably going to this mission right here. Let's mark it, yep. And then uh, we will just go after uh, to this main mission right here. So let's go. And fast travel there. And uh, yeah, so let's see what happens. Someone's trapped. I gotta help him. Someone is trapped in here, wait a sec. Yeah, yeah. What well, seems to be the problem, man? Let me get you out of there. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Hmm. Another hard decision. Uh, let's give it to Hot Springs. Go toward Three Finger Jack, find the Salome Hot Springs, talk to Alki Turner. He'll help you out. On Deacon. They know who I am. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. I think he should be inside the car, but somehow he got out <laughs> by himself, so I don't know what happened there. So uh, yeah, we're still uh, trying to get to this area right here, uh, this one, and uh, unfortunately we can't fast travel somewhere near, so I'm still trying to drive over there, so yeah, I'll just see you guys there. That was just a, a little commercial, <laughs> what just happened, so yeah, I'll see you guys there, guys. guys we're here so let's check this out uh, hey me again so uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp and I know <laughs> I know I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all but didn't have a choice see Boozer Boozer was gonna die and uh, well he still didn't want to go hell I didn't want to go but like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and, and now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was, uh, gangbanging. In Sacramento and Fresno, I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or no, 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 man, he would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game the Boozer and I used to play. Before we rode out of Lost Lake for good, we used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know. You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. 
So that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the ship went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe Schizo's telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that, that ain't happening anytime soon. Look on the bright side, looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Alright, so basically we just updated Sarah right there. Well, I don't know the, the full story yet, but I hope she's still alive and they will see each other. So, nobody knows. Maybe we will get lucky or something. So, uh, yeah, um, let's check this area for loot. Uh, I don't think we have anything here. So, let's just fast travel right there on the main mission and uh, see what happens. Alright, guys, that was a long travel. Actually, a. I went to Copeland's um, hey, camp, upgraded a few stuff there for my bike, Open and uh, okay. fast traveled here to Iron Mike's We're camp. So, first. yeah, that, that was a pretty long travel right there. And uh, yeah, let's just check Looking this. Looking to buy, Hope. Check Having this. a look. Is that okay? I'll fill her up. Check this for a while. So Later, there's, there's nothing to upgrade. Um, yeah, let's go to the main mission. It's snowing right here. All right, guys. Thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. Nice running, Iron Mike. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. That old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of him. Alright. Looks like I'm going to do that. What the hell? What is this? What should we do? Nice work. Oh, that's Skizzo's it? just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Jesus Christ! 
<laughs> this is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Now don't get too close. Stay down. Alright, this... I think this is going to be nasty, guys. Let's see what, what happens. What the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think oh about it, man. God. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandian Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. Off anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway and reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my bear. There and there, we'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. These are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. One of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. 
They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and I are Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit, you hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. out in the shit a few months back? Alright, so I guess we need to blow up that cave and yeah, dude, let's just continue this mission. It's very interesting. I saw a bunch of Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right. Here. This is it. Mike, the place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. we got to head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. He'll be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here? Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Alright guys, here goes nothing. Let's see what happens here.
two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. We had ammunition left after all, and how they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said. Two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... I wish the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo's so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Man, this is weird. Oh, I just Here's the went, to the, went to this place. Place is locked up tight. <laughs> locked tight. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. There's always a sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. <laughs> you didn't like kids. Wow, well, here I thought you liked everyone. Expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Alright guys, it's going to be a very action-packed mission right here. Let's see here. There we go. And another one. Nope, I missed. Oh shit. Smoke bomb, yep. Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh shit. Too close, too close, man. Alright. That's how it's done. 
Do we have do we have more? Oh shit. That's red boys. Shit, shit. Do it all the hard work for us. Yeah, come on. Here, crack! Good job, man. Keep it up, my nice swan. There you oh, yeah. go. I'm right behind you. Where is Iron Mike? Oh, there. Oops, sniper. Sniper. Oh shit! No. Oh, oh my god, no! Let's go! Oh shit! Oh. I'm going to die. Oh, come on. Oh man. Let's try that one more time, guys. Oh. Hey man, where do we go? Get out of there! Holy shit! Why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking oh, your shit. ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now, how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. Oh, God, that was gnarly. about the Rippers? Why you wanted me to see that shit? You know, Deke, I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? The freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his Rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Dee. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that.
All right, now this is very interesting. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's it for <laughs> this video. Oh, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Beatrice ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for wa watching and uh, just um, leave a like I and, how holding up. and comment. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. Yeah, leave a like on this video, comment, and I'll see you on the next one, guys.